problem find the converse and contraposition of the given statement it will be must be asked okay <coughs> then what is your first aim <coughs> to find p and q yeah first find p and q if you are not getting that means just write the given conditional statement in the form of p conditional q that is given in the form of p conditional q but yes. what is p what is q we have to observe between the there are some phrases that may be used may, may be uh, here it is whenever Maybe other phrases may be given in the problem. So first write the given statement in the form of if P then Q. Then it is easy to find the converse, inverse, and contraposition. That is the first thing. Just remember, just convert the given conditional statement in the form if P then Q. Then it is easy to find all these things. Okay. <coughs> According to question. P conditional Q that is given as the home team wins whenever it is raining. Then, if I will write in the form of if and then form, then what will be this if and then form? Same P conditional Q. Same P conditional Q will be written in the form of if P then Q. Then what I'll write? If it is raining, the home. Team. If the home. Yeah, you see here whenever it is raining, that is in the form of Q P conditional Q. That is in the form of Q whenever P. That is the same P conditional Q you can write if. It is raining. Then the home team wins. First, your work is this: write the any form of given conditional statement in the form of if P then Q. That means this is your in the form of P. The home team wins. This is your Q. Now. The statement is in the form of if P then Q. So P is your it is raining. Q is your the home team wins. The given statement that is the home team wins whenever it is raining. That is also P conditional Q, not Q conditional P. That is P conditional Q. We have to find the converse. Converse means we have to find find Q conditional P. We have to find inverse. That means negation P conditional negation Q. We have to find contraposition. That means negation Q, conditional negation P. The three composite uh, compound proposition we have to find. Okay. First one is converse. What is that converse? <coughs> converse of P conditional Q. Each we know that that is Q conditional P. That means we have to find Q conditional P. That means. Q conditional P. What will be this? That is the converse. If the home team wins, uh, it is raining. Then it is raining. Then it is raining. You have to write if if Q then P. Q is your if if home the home team wins. Yeah. If the home team wins, then P. P is your it is raining. So whenever can also be used in this case. Which one? So whenever. So when you are whenever, 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 Got it? If you are writing con the Q conditional P, you can write Q conditional P in this like this. In the case of if you are using whenever it is raining, you have to write it is raining whenever 
द होम टीम विंस गट इट सी पी कंडीशनल क्यू दैट इज द सेम थिंग क्यू है नेवर पी दैट इज क्यू कंडीशनल पी दैट विल बी पी है नेवर क्यू गट इट यस आई गट इट जस्ट वेट Like the same way, find the inverse. Inverse of p conditional q. That will be this inverse of p conditional q. That will be negation p conditional negation q. We are going to find this. That means negation p conditional negation q. What will be this? Sir, uh, if it is not raining, then the home team will not win. Yeah, you can write yeah something. You can write simple if and then. If it is not raining, then the home team does not win. Then come to contrapositive. Contrapositive of the given statement P conditional Q is according to definition. We know that that will be negation Q conditional negation P. That is the statement we have we are going to find. That means negation Q conditional negation P. What will be this? Sir, uh, if the home team does not win, then it is not raining. Yeah, you can write if the home team does not win, then it is not raining. See, this uh, converse, inverse, and contrapositive all are simple, but The main thing is from the given statement that may be any form of conditional statement, not in the general form if and then. That may be if and then form. It may be any phrases used that we have written. Q only only P. All the forms are there. Q unless negation P. So from that find P and Q. Just convert it in the form of if then if P then Q. Then it is more clear to find the converse, inverse, and con contrapositive. <coughs> it's clear. Yes. Okay. See, I am just uh, explaining one example. Your duty is you have to do more examples from book from the exercise. Also. Okay. Let's see. If you find the truth table, okay. Your question. I am giving the question. That is your work. As we have shown all the conditional and the negation. So, question is find the truth table of. Converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the conditional statement P conditional Q. So P is there, Q is there. You have to tell all the possible cases true and false, true and false. So find the converse. That means P conditional Q. Then find Q conditional P to true table. Q conditional P true table for negation P conditional negation Q. Two table for negation Q conditional negation P and verify that <coughs> the truth values of 
P conditional Q and it's contrapositive. Are the same. That means when finding the truth table, find the converse, inverse, and contrapositive. To find the converse, you have to find P conditional Q also. Okay. After finding, just check that the truth table of P conditional Q, the truth column of P conditional Q that is identical to the its contrapositive. That means P conditional Q, all the truth values of P conditional Q that will be same as all the truth values of negation Q conditional negation P. That will be the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> that is your homework. <coughs> We have not discussed that biconditional statement or discuss. No, sir, we didn't discuss. Okay. <coughs> then come to biconditional. Sir, can you show the last slide? Uh, yeah. <coughs> See, you have to find the truth table. You can find it easily. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> See, after the class, I will share it. Okay. <coughs> By conditional statements. So we have studied conditional. Conditional that is if P then Q that is in the form of implication that means P implies Q in this case P implies Q along with Q implies P that is the biconditional statement we will see let P and Q be two given propositions. Biconditional statement that notation is P biconditional Q. That means P conditional Q, Q conditional P. So P <coughs> double arrow Q is the proposition. Then tell me what will be the proposition? If P arrow mark Q, P conditional Q, that is P implies Q. Okay, it is P biconditional Q. I am saying that P implies Q along with Q implies P. Then what is the statement? Like this in conditional if P then Q. In this case, what will be the statement? Any idea? Sir, if P then Q along with if Q then P. Yeah, you can also write that if P then Q and uh, if Q then P. That is the end conversion. You can also write, but you can use the simple word. P if and only if that the same meaning if and only if Q use the form or phrase if and only if if and only if means P implies Q and Q implies P P conditional Q along with Q conditional P that is the biconditional okay what is the rule of biconditional connective P biconditional Q will be true when P and Q have the same truth value. And it will be false for all other cases. Like this, see. Two table, okay. P, Q, P biconditional Q. <coughs> P is true 
Q is true. Then what will be P by condition of Q? See, when P condition, yeah, when both have same truth value, P and Q both have same truth value, that is true. So it will be true. So true false, it will be false. False, both are not same. False, true, it will be false. False, both are not same. False, false, it will be false. False, why? P is false, Q is false, both are same. Okay, no, it will be true. It will be true. That means this value, when false, false, it will be true. And when P true, Q true, both are same, it will be true. These two cases, it will be true. For all other cases, it will be false. That is the truth. Okay. Let P be the proposition. You can take the flight. Q be the proposition. You buy a ticket. Then what will be P by conditional Q? <coughs> Always use the proposition. That means you can take the flight only and only if you buy a ticket. Yeah, if and only. You the flight if and only. Uh, you can write simply. You can take the flight. You can use the phrase if and only if. Then Q. Q is your you buy a ticket. That is the same thing. P by conditional Q. There are also other ways or other phrases to represent by conditional. Like the same P conditional Q. There are more ways or more uh, phrases in English to represent or P conditional Q. Similarly, instead of writing if and only, there are also some other indications. Okay, we'll see. <coughs> other ways to write P by conditional Q. That are, you can write in this way. P is necessary and sufficient for Q. That means see, P implies Q. If P then Q. One is necessary, one is sufficient. When it is along with Q implies P or if P, Q then P. That means P becomes necessary as well as sufficient. Also you can write Q is necessary and sufficient for P. That is the same meaning to P by conditional Q. Or you can write in, in this way, if P, then Q, then you can write N conversely. What is conversely? We have already written. If P by conditional Q, other way of presentation is, if P, then Q, N converse. That means conversely means key conditional P, converse of P conditional Q, that is key conditional P. That means if P, then Q, N. If Q then P. That is the same thing P by conditional Q. Otherwise, you can also use this phrase P exactly when Q. That is the same meaning as P by conditional Q. There are some rules of precedence. That means rule, rules of precedence means when we are forming or a given compound statement is given. So this compound statement is in general form. So that is in how to write in the correct form. So we should use the order of precedence. What is the order of precedence? 
so each logical operators when will use this logical operator first and second and third that are the order of precedence okay i'm just writing directly just some operators that is very easy thing and order of precedence see we have studied the operator negation so when any compound statement negation is there so you have to simplify negation first then if conjunction is there after simplifying or taking bracket to negation then come to conjunction if there is inclusive or exclusive then you can take any one that is the order of precedence is 3 then come to conditional then come to biconditional <coughs> that means see in general if you compare this uh, if a mathematical expression uh, there is some brackets uh, then some uh, division or uh, multiplication addition subtraction so what you have to do first you have to do simplify first the bracket then division then multiplication like the same way in a compound statement of proposition logic if negation is there you have to simplify the negation part then come to conjunction then disjunction then conditional then biconditional that is the way of order of precedence of logical operators <coughs> got it okay see some examples you will get it <coughs> that means it is written that in three one example negation p conjunction q so that is the negation p conjunction q how to find the truth table so you have to find first negation p so negation p take this bracket that is the same thing if you compare with the order of precedence to right to way right in the correct way that is negation p conjunction q that is the correct way of writing then what will be p conjunction q disjunction r then what will be this then p conjunction q disjunction r then what you have to find in two table what we have to do first sir p conjunction q within bracket then disjunction r that is your conjunction and disjunction is there so you have to use first basically order first negation then conjunction then disjunction first conjunction is there disjunction is there so which terms we have to take the bracket so first is conjunction so p conjunction q take the bracket with disjunction with r that is the correct form you don't write like this not correct i am just writing <coughs> this will be this is your correct which one is not correct but it you cannot write p conjunction q disjunction r that will be wrong that means p conjunction q disjunction r is given like this if it is given like this use the order of precedence so first use conjunction so that will be p conjunction q take the bracket then this p conjunction q disjunction with r so don't write like this p conjunction don't take the bracket q conjunction r so that will be affect the order of precedence so better to always use if it is in the form of general form so make in the correct form using the order of precedence note it or in doubt okay if you have any doubt then see one more example p conditional q disjunction r then if you write this is the correct not in the correct form then what will be the correct form what will be the correct form so q disjunction r within bracket yeah see Here, connectives are or operators are one is conditional, one is disjunction. 
according to rule we have to use first disjunction then conditional so in this way that will be p conditional q disjunction r so don't write it p don't find it first p conditional q then take with disjunction r that will be wrong so first take along to order first take q disjunction r after finding q disjunction r take p conditional q disjunction r okay <coughs> that is all about your first uh, section 1.1 in your uh, 1.2 that is more, well, or some applications are there that means applications to propositional logics uh, that in the, some computer circuits are there logic circuit are there some puzzles are there uh, some boolean searches are there if you want you can go through the book otherwise uh, after 1.3 or 1.4 we will discuss the applications Okay. Then come to <coughs> that is all about that we have discussed. That is all about section one point one. So solve similar type of problems from the exercise section one point one. All are dealing with all the connect connectives to table like this. Section one point three is your propositional equivalences. Okay. So before going to that propositional equivalences means. what will be the condition so that two compound statements or code two compound propositions will be equivalent what is the condition we will see so before going to study about propositional equivalence we should know about three terms regarding this equivalences one is tautology one is contradiction that is also important thing for tautology contradiction and contingency tautology contradiction and contingency <coughs> see this first one is we'll go by go one by one tautology <coughs> all are compound proposition a compound proposition which is always true no matter what <coughs> the truth values of the proportional variables that occur in it is called a tautology see <coughs> that means a compound proposition will be given okay from that compound proposition there will be p q r whatever the possibilities all the take all the possibilities of p and q so then find the truth table of that compound proposition in that truth table if it is said that all the values are true that means in the in that column all are true According to all the possible cases of P and Q, that means P and Q that are the proportional variables. P, Q are all are proportional variables. Whatever the all the possible cases of proportional variables, but the compound proposition will be always true. When it is always true, that compound proposition is said to be that is a total loss. Now the same way, 
a compound proposition it is when it is always true it is called tautology a compound proposition that is always false it's called a contradiction that means when after finding the truth table if all the values or truth values of that compound proposition it will be false then it is said to be contradict then what about contingency all the compound proposition it may be tautology it may be contradiction it may be contingency contract contingency see what <coughs> a compound proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction it's called a contingency when it is always false when always false it is a contradiction when always true from the truth table it is tautology when the compound proposition not all are true not all are false that means from the all the cases true is there false is there so it will be a contingency that means it is not a tautology that means not all are true at least one is false it is not a contradiction that means not all are false at least one is true so in that case it is said to be a contingency <coughs> in doubts in this tautology contradiction and contingency <coughs> tell if you are having any type of question you may ask See this. I'm giving some very simple example. Consider the truth table of one is P disjunction negation P. Another one is P conjunction negation P. <coughs> we'll see. P is here. Then we will find negation P. Our uh, as per requirements, P disjunction negation P, P conjunction negation P. We may take this bracket. Then what will be the possibilities of P? The truth then. P is only one proposition. What are the possibilities of P? So true and false. Yeah, true and false. Then what will be negation P? False and true. Yeah, false true. Then what will be P disjunction negation P? Disjunction means inclusive or. At least one is true. That means true. So true false. It will be true or false. True. True. False true. It will be true. 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 Okay. Then see this. For all possible cases of for, from the proposition variables, this P disjunction negation P all are true. Then come to this P n negation P. What will be this? True false. 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 It is also false. So all are false. In case of one proposition, there are two cases. In case of P and Q, there will be four cases. Four different cases. P Q R there will be eight different cases for all the cases the com the compound proposition column will be all true then it is a tautology the compound proposition column will be all false then it is a contradiction that means just for simple here P disjunction negation P is 
always true. And you say, oh, for all the possible cases, this column is always true. So, this proposition P, disjunction, negation P, it is a tautology. Tautology, contradiction, and contingency all are compound propositions. There are some categories of compound propositions. Tautology, contradiction, and contingency. And P, conjunction, negation P is here from the truth table is always false. You can observe. So, as it is always false for all possible cases, so it will be what? All false means what? Contradiction. Contradiction. All false, that means contradiction. All true, that means a tautology. In case of not all are true and not all are false, that all the cases that will be, all other cases that will be considered as contingent. <coughs> okay. Then come to logical equivalences. Or equivalent statements. <coughs> okay. When <coughs> two compound propositions. always have the same truth value. Regardless of the truth values of its variables or proportional variables. We call them equivalents. That means if two compound propositions find the truth table, from that truth table, if both these compound propositions have the same truth value, then we can say that these two compound propositions are equivalent to each other. Equivalent means truth values or truth from the truth table, the truth column both this compound proposition will be identical or same. <coughs> or you may write in this way, the compound propositions, let one is R, another one is S. R called logically equivalent if what is our condition r by conditional s is a tautology there is another condition that means see why it is a tautology r means that is a compound proposition and s means that is also a compound proposition so that they are logically equivalent that means both R and S have the same truth values. R and S both same truth values. That means R by conditional S. We know that by conditional S is true when it has same truth values. So uh, uh, what is R and S? R and S two columns all are two columns are identical or having the same truth values. For same truth values, by condition will be true, so it will must be a tautology. <coughs> notation, you can use notation R, this, 
R equivalent S. This denotes that R and S are logically equivalent. <coughs> also, you can it is also denoted by you can also use R biconditional S. You can use this symbol or this symbol <coughs> for equivalence. That means if then biconditional something A implies B, B implies S, or R implies S, or S implies R. That is the same thing as equivalence. Okay. Examples. The, any idea about give me any two compound propositions so that the truth value show that the same truth value. Any idea? Give me two compound propositions whose truth values are same. That are equivalent. <coughs> you can see this. We have already written this one problem. <coughs> see this. See, verify that the truth values of P conditional Q and its contrapositive are the same. Truth values are same means they are equivalent. One is P conditional Q and its contrapositive. They are equivalent. Because you can find from the truth table. Observe that they are same. Okay. <clears throat> that means a conditional statement and its contrapositive are equivalent. That means you can write in this way the conditional statement, right? P conditional Q. Okay? That is equivalent to what? It's contrapositive. What is the contrapositive of P conditional Q? <coughs> what is the conditional Q conditional negation P? Yeah, negation Q conditional negation P. That means P conditional Q. Find the truth table of P conditional Q which will be same as two table of negation Q, conditional negation Q. Use truth table, put to verify. Use truth table to verify. Similarly, there is also another basic example. The converse and In the inverse of a conditional statement. Are equivalent. That conditional is P conditional Q. From P conditional Q, Q find the converse and inverse. But it said that Converse and inverse of any conditional statement, they are equivalent. What is the converse of P conditional Q? Q conditional P. Yeah, Q conditional P. That is equivalent to what? Inverse of P conditional Q. What is the inverse of P conditional Q? Negation. Negation Q conditional negation Q. Negation. So these are also same. I am giving one home task. Okay, so that P conditional Q is equivalent to negation P disjunction Q. Use truth table. Do you have class now? Okay, okay it, it will take just two minutes. Okay, okay just wait, it will take two minutes. For use truth table, I am just showing one of the proof. One is P, one statement is P conditional Q. We have to find the truth table of P conditional Q. 
then we have to find the truth table of negation p disjunction q so p q p conditional q then we have to find negation p disjunction q so we cannot find directly so we have to find negation p then negation p disjunction q all the from the truth table <coughs> okay true 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 false false true false false what will be p conditional q <coughs> true true that will be true true false it will be what is false is false for all other condition that will be true then what will be negation p P true true false false. What will be negation P? That will be false false true true. Yeah, false false true true. Then negation P disjunction Q. Negation P is false false true true. Q is true false true false. That means false true. That will be true. False false. That will be false. True true. That is true. Then true false. That is C. One is P conditional Q. That column. See this column. True false. True true. See this column. Negation P disjunction Q. That is true false. True true. These two columns are true. They are the same. That means you can write here. These two columns are identical. So. The proof is similar. Yes, we know that those two compound proposition have the same truth values. Then they are equal. So P conditional Q that truth values are T F T T. Then negation P disjunction Q the corresponding values are same. Truth false true true. So two columns are identical or same equal uh, same truth value. So we can conclude that P conditional Q is equivalent to the statement that is negation P. Disjunction Q. Clear? Okay. Okay. We will stop here. There are also some more logical equivalences. We will see the next one. Okay. I am sending the attendance link. Just.